Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about how to convert a given array into zigzag. So the explanation which we are going to provide here is completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please watch our website learningmonkey.in. Take the course placement training for service based companies course. Finish it, then come to the competitive coding. So coming to today's example, it's very very simple example uh, given an array of n distinct elements. They are going to give n distinct elements. The task is to rearrange the elements in a zigzag fashion. So how you have to rearrange that elements? Uh, such so that uh, the converted array should be in the form of uh, array of 0 less than array of 1. Means the element present in the 0th position should be always less than the element present in the first position. Element present in the second position should be always less than element present in the first position. Means element present in the first position should be greater than element in the second position. Less than, greater than, less than, greater than. This is how you have to convert the given array into uh, the elements that present in that array should be converted in this way. Now coming to example for better understanding take an example array of 4378261. This is the array. We have to convert this into uh, after conversion the output should be like this 3748261 so 3 is less than 7 7 is greater than 4 4 is less than 8 8 is greater than 2 2 is less than 6 6 is uh, greater than 1 this is how you have to convert that but you have to maintain a time complexity of big o of n the, the coding which you, you have to write that should be of the order of n and the space complexity should be order of 1 so coming to the logic part, it's very very simple. So 4378261, uh, for understanding purpose, we have written the uh, uh, index values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If it is in the even index, we have to apply the condition even position, even element present in the even position. You have to check the condition array of i, ith position element should be always less than array of i plus 1. So if it is not there, swap it. So from this, you are going to get 3478261. Do it again. Next move to the second position. Second position means the element will be 4 and 7. If you are in the odd position, you have to check the condition array of i greater than array of i plus 1. 4, 7. Is it greater than? No. So swap. 7, 4. So apply these two conditions for all the elements present in the array. That's it. That logic is very very simple. So 3748261. This is what you are going to get the output if you apply this logic. Even position, odd position. The same way, the same can be obtained in another way. In order to not to mention the position, if you want to identify the position, you have to take the modulus of 2 and all those things. But uh, uh, very simple way is initially take a variable. You take one variable and uh, assign it as 1. If it is 1, apply the first condition. Each iteration switch the value. I will become 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Take a variable i and switch the values. 1 means apply the first condition. 0 means apply the second condition. 1 means apply the first condition. 0 means apply the second condition. So you can you can go with any one of this uh, any one of this. So the coding is available in our website learningmonkey.in so uh, but our suggestion is try to solve the uh, by taking this logic try to solve it on your own then check for the solution because it is easy we are not going to show the code here usually we are going to show the code also but uh, it is easy our suggestion is to try to solve it on your own hope you understand this example the logic if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you